Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Geeky Abode. This is my channel where I share everything homeschool, family, and life's adventures. In today's video, I am sharing what our science curriculums are for the 2022-2023 school year. We are a secular family with an eclectic style to our schooling. I have two children that I've been homeschooling now for almost six years. My daughter will be entering the fourth grade and my son will be entering his second grade year. I am so excited about the science choices that I chose this year. I may have even chosen more than I can handle, but I'm just excited to dig into it and have us explore and learn and just have a lot of fun. The first option that I chose is one that I haven't seen a whole lot of information about on YouTube, but I'm excited to dig into it and I will share more throughout the year as we experience and explore this curriculum. It is scientific, sorry, the glare is horrible. Scientific connections through inquiry. This curriculum appealed to me because I feel like science is extremely difficult as a secular homeschooler. They, first, you have to dig through and eliminate any of the religious options that aren't the best fit for you. And then you're left with limited options. And then sometimes a lot of the options focus on nature or focus on earth science and don't hit all of the other science concepts. And that's where scientific connections through inquiry is different. Scientific connections through inquiry hits a variety of different science concepts within one school year. What we're looking at is, let's see, during one school year, we'll be exploring, first is the baloney, Baloney Detection Kit, which I love. The curriculum starts off with the Baloney Detection Kit, which is teaching you the concepts of how to look at science in different ways and not automatically believe the first thing that you see. What you'll be learning So scientific connections Scientific Connections Through Inquiry goes through a variety of different science concepts in one year. You'll be learning about organizing things into categories, distinguishing living and bi or biological, natural earth and human made things, solids, liquids and gases and change with temperature, making things go, the concept of gravity, the plant and animal kingdoms, distinguishing plants and animals, Air as a substance in the concept of atmosphere. Day and night in the Earth's rotation. Matter's particulate nature. Kinetic and potential energy and flow of energy. Distinguishing materials. Force and energy. And life cycles. So you will cover all of those different topics in science in one school year. And then you'll build upon that as you move on with the different levels within the program. I chose level zero, even though that my kids are in first and, well, they'll be second, I'm sorry, second grade and fourth grade, because this is a good base to start. And then the years after that can build on it. I don't believe that this is too low of a level for my kids. I believe with homeschooling, you need to select the curriculum and the level that you feel is most appropriate for your family at that time. So we're very excited to use scientific connections through inquiry because they're topics that we haven't covered before. We've done a lot of, like I said, earth science and life science, and I'm really interested and excited to get into more of matter, chemistry, and physics with my kids. That said, I couldn't just start there. I came across another curriculum and I couldn't decide between the two. I was really leaning towards scientific connections through inquiry, but then I really like this other program also. So I got both of them and we're gonna dabble in both of them. The next one is Blossom and Root, Wonders of Earth and Sky. 
we are big earth and space lovers in my house. So this is perfect to pair with the scientific connections through inquiry because it, it digs in deeper to the earth science. What I love about Blossom and Root, Root also, which made it really appealing, is it's more of like a choose your own adventure style science program where you don't have to do everything that's listed in there. Even though my personality makes me want to check all the boxes, that's something that's going to be a bit of a challenge for me personally. But I know that whatever we do in there, my kids are going to enjoy and love. And even doing just a little bit of it is going to be better than doing nothing at all. So I'm also really, really excited to start in with The Wonders of Earth and Sky by Blossom and Root. Also, Blossom and Root is... The Wonders of Earth and Sky, the nature curriculum. I got a bundle that has a bunch of the different first grade level curriculums or year one level curriculums. And I was really interested in the nature one. This is something that I'm not going to necessarily put on our schedule for the school year, but I'm gonna flip through it. And as I find something that's suitable for our point where we are in our season of life during the school year i will choose that and try it and just have a little bit more fun and get out in nature a little bit more and have a little bit of more spark into our nature curriculum and nature study when it comes to school with the blossom and root they also have these things called book seeds which book seeds is basically a unit study curriculum that's based around a book and with the year one curriculum package you have a bunch of different book seeds. Honestly, I'm not really sure if we're going to get to all of them since I've already front loaded a lot of science curriculum, but I do want to share these because these came with the year one and they are something that I know we're going to enjoy and get to at some point. The first one is, this is called Young Water Protectors, a story about standing rock. We have one plastic bag. This is about recycling. The boy who harnessed the wind. Charles Darwin's advent around the world adventure. And Mary Anning and the sea dragon. Those look like so much fun. I really hope that we can fit them in. If not, I have them. They'll be on my shelf and I can grab them anytime that the interest or the spark comes up comes alive for that. Another thing that we have been using for science and have been enjoying this year is Mystery Science. Mystery Science is an online program that has short videos that answer science questions and there's often activities and extensions that are listed below the video. We've been enjoying these. They last anywhere between five minutes to 20 minutes when it comes to the video portion and the activity. Is something we're going to continue with. We'll hit the topics if they coincide with some of our science topics that we're studying, or we'll just pick them up during seasonal times. Sometimes there's ones about Halloween or Christmas, but mystery science is something that we've really been enjoying. So we'll be doing that. It'll be, won't be necessarily on the schedule, but it will be something that we'll be doing during the year to enjoy a little bit more extra science. So there we have it. Those are my science curriculums that I've chosen this year. Hopefully I didn't choose too much, but either way, it's the beginning of the school year and I'm excited to give it a try. This is all new to us. The previous year we basically done, done a little bit of Harcourt science, which is an old te school textbook or mystery science or some unit studies. So this will be the first time that I have a couple of different curriculums and a couple of very new curriculums. So it's exciting. I just, I love curriculum. It's exciting. Let me know down below if you've used any of these curriculums and if you love them and give me any tips and advice on how not to overload. <laughs> that could always be helpful. Either way, I'm linking this curriculum down below and please hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any contact that I'll be posting. I will keep you updated on how these curriculums go for us and how well we're enjoying them and what my impressions of them are. And thank you for watching. Bye.